Our God truly is a wonder, sending bread from heaven, supplying all our needs according to his riches and glory. No matter what you're in need of today, remember our God is a provider and he can supply every single need. Today we're reading through Exodus chapter 16 verses 13 to 17. It reads, That evening quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the dew was gone, thin flakes like frost on the ground appeared on the desert floor. When the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Everyone is to gather as much as they need. Take an omer for each person you have in your tent. The Israelites did as they were told. Some gathered much, some little. And when they measured it by the omer, the one who gathered much did not have too much, and the one who gathered little did not have too little. Everyone had gathered just as much as they had needed. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are God who can send bread from heaven. Lord, you are God who can supply every single need, need of provision, need of peace, need of love, Lord God. You supply every single need that we need, Lord. And Lord, here we read so clearly, Lord, that you know you, you knew exactly what the Israelites needed. You knew exactly they needed Lord and you sent it in a way that surprised them Lord they couldn't quite understand that you know you had manna bread on the floor it didn't make sense to them but Lord you had a plan and Lord they were able to accept and receive and be blessed by observing and accepting what you had done and receiving it like children receiving it with gratitude and listening to how you wanted it to be shared out among each of them. Lord, we thank you that this teaches us, Lord, that it doesn't matter what we need, Lord God, you have the power and the capacity to supply every single need. And Lord, today, Lord, where we are relying on you and we are praying and hoping, Lord, that you would move mightily in our own situations of provision and lack, Lord, we pray that you would open up doors. Lord, you would open up windows. Lord, you would open up avenues, Lord, for us to receive the blessing that is ours, Lord God, to receive the provision that is ours because you give us that provision. Lord, we thank you that you're teaching us, Lord, that we don't need to rely on ourselves. And even when we feel like we're at the last penny that we have, the last pound, the last dollar, whatever we have in our pocket, if that's the last of it, Lord, we can rely on you and trust that you are going to bring more. You're going to bring more provision, Lord. You're going to supernaturally enable us to have all that we need because, Lord, you said you would supply all our need according to your riches and glory. Lord, you said that you have good gifts to your children, Lord, and you also said, Lord, that if you feed the sparrows, why would not would you feed your own children? And Lord, we thank you that you remind us that provision in in the form of food, in the in the form of being able to provide um, a meal, Lord, and to have somewhere to live and be in safety, Lord, is something that you do promise us, Lord. You do promise us that provision, and Lord, where that provision is lacking, Lord, I pray that you would open our eyes to what that blockage is, what that spiritual blockage is, Lord, that is stopping us from receiving what is ours, Lord. Lord, is it our behaviour? Is it our past, Lord? Are we repentant before you, Lord? Have we forgiven those you've called us to forgive? Or Lord, are we harbouring hatred in our hearts, bitterness, Lord, that is stopping your flow of provision pouring out a blessing in our lives. Lord, we just pray today, Lord, that we would receive what you have for us, Lord, and we would recognise what you have for us. Lord, the children of Israel weren't quite sure what they saw, but once Moses explained to them, Lord, they received it happily. And the same with us, Lord. Lord, where you've provided for us, Lord, where you've given us avenues to access provision, Lord, and we haven't seen it all recognized it. I pray today, Lord, that you would open our spiritual eyes to see what you have for us, Lord, to identify 
things that are already in our hands that we don't even recognize because we haven't seen it that way. Lord, open our hearts to you, open our minds to you, open our level of understanding to understand that you do things in miraculous, supernatural ways that defy our own understanding. Lord, thank you for the gift of provision. Thank you for jobs, Lord God. Thank you for those who are looking and seeking employment, Lord. I pray that today, Lord, that you would release that blessing over their lives, Lord. Lord, those who are seeking you, Lord, for financial provision, Lord, to provide for their families, Lord God. I pray, Lord, today, Lord God, you would release a financial blessing over them. Lord, for those who are seeking you, Lord, looking for um, provision of the mind, Lord God, Lord, would you release a blessing over them. Lord, for those who are seeking provision for new ventures, Lord, ministry ventures, business ventures, entrepreneurial ventures, Lord God, I pray, Lord, today that you would release a blessing over them. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would rebuke the devourer. Lord, you would destroy every work of darkness, Lord, that would want to stop your children having access to the finance and the provision that they need, to the food that they need, Lord. Lord, open every door, open every door. Lord, cleanse every mind, strengthen every heart, Lord. Lord, we pray for a deluge, for testimonies, Lord, of provision, testimonies of how you have provided. As we have prayed, Lord, I pray that you would help us at this time. And Lord, as we take this moment just to pray, to you, Lord, with our own words. I pray, Lord, that you would help each person, Lord, bring forward each area that they need to pray to you about, Lord, and that you would hear their prayers. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen.